gym class science. The show where sports is like, hey, and science is like, hey. Tessa? Oh, sorry. So in today's episode, we're going to be discussing the awesome freezing properties of liquid nitrogen. And the physics of making the perfect hockey slap shot. Three points. You didn't do the reading last night, did you? I'm getting to it. It's, uh, it's right. Uh-huh. The perfect slap shot is about force and accuracy. It starts by raising the stick and shifting your weight from your back leg to your front leg as you bring the stick down. The stick actually collides with the ice first, creating friction, which causes the puck to be hit with even greater force. This all happens in two hundredths of a second. That's all the time I need. <gasps> Man, if only we could try this stuff out on the ice. Well, this is gym class science where we take things to the extreme. So what's cooler than ice? Ice cold. It was colder than ice. Liquid, Liquid nitrogen. nitrogen. Yeah. Nitrogen. 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 I really, I did hurt myself earlier though. Yeah, that doesn't feel good. This is liquid nitrogen. Nitrogen can be found pretty much everywhere, even in the air that we breathe. It's actually part of the reason why the air doesn't turn into liquid when it gets really cold out. Liquid nitrogen is cold, really cold. So that's why when you take something like, say, this marshmallow and drop it in liquid nitrogen, it freezes. So let's see what happens when a frozen hockey puck meets an 80 mile an hour slap shot. Magic board! Magic board! So David, tell us a little bit about how to hit the perfect slap. Let's smash some pucks! <laughs> Gym Class Science. Where we take science and sports to the extreme. Extremely adorable! Hey, you wanna play some hockey? Yeah, sure. I love hockey. Almost as much as I love you. Do you have to uh, uh, kiss in hockey? 